Hello everyone. In this video, we have another interesting geometric question in front of us. So we are given a figure involving a square and a circle and we have to find the area of this square. As you can see in the figure, this distance between the circle and the square is given as one unit. So before we proceed to the solution, if you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video. So first of all, I would like to name the side of this square as some variable. Let us say x, okay? Okay, so here we have taken the side length of the square as x. And now I would like to name uh, this point as a and uh, maybe this point as b, okay? I would like to join a and b, okay? So let me join a and b and see what we get. So we get this line here and we all know that the length of this line will be the same as the side of the square that is equal to x, right? Okay, so, so far we are good. Now let me name this point as c here. As you can see from the figure, this length ac is nothing but the diameter of the circle, isn't it? So we can say that ac is nothing but the diameter. So AC is the diameter and from the figure we can see that the length of AC is X plus 1. So diameter is equal to X plus 1. So if diameter is X plus 1 then obviously the radius of the circle will be half of this right that is it will be X plus 1 divided by 2. So this is the radius. Okay. Now let me name the center of this circle as O. Okay. I will take this as O and uh, maybe I will name this point over here as a D. Now I will join O and D. So let me join O and D like this. And we all know that OD is also the radius, isn't it? So because of that, the length of this part, the length of this OD is also X plus one upon two. Okay. And we know that the length of this length BD, right? This length over here, that is BD. It will be half of the side of the square that is X upon two. Okay, and uh, obviously we know that this will be a right angle here. I want to know the length of this OB so that I can apply Pythagoras theorem and find out the value of X. So if we get the value of X, then we can easily get the area of the square, isn't it? So our goal is to find the value of X. For that, I want this length OB. Okay, now from the figure, you can easily observe that the length of OB is nothing but this length OC, it's nothing but the radius OC minus that one unit. So from the radius, if you subtract one unit, you will get this length OB, isn't it? So easily we can calculate this now. So OC is nothing but the radius, which is X plus one upon two minus one. So we can simplify this expression. We can take two as a common denominator. So we get X plus one and then two times one will be two. Okay. I'm sorry. It should be two so that we get the length of OB as X minus one by two. Okay. Now we know the length of this length as well. Okay. So that is OB. So OB is equal to X minus one upon two. Now we can focus on this right angle triangle that is OBD, apply Pythagoras theorem and find out the length of X. Okay. Let's do that now. So I'm going to take triangle OBD. So in triangle OBD, we can see that OD square is equal to OB square plus BD square. Now what is OD? OD is X plus one by two. So OD square will be X plus one by two, the whole square. This is equal to OB is nothing but this X minus one upon two. So it will be X minus one upon two, the whole square plus BD is nothing but X by two. So it will be X by two, the whole square. Now it's just a matter of simplification. So this can be written as X plus one, the whole square divided by two square. So two square is four. This is equal to, again, this also can be written as X minus one by two, the whole square divided by two square, which is four plus this is X square upon four. Okay. So we can easily expand this X plus one upon uh, X plus one, the whole square using a plus B whole square formula. So let's do that. So it is nothing but a square plus B square plus two AB, right? So this will be X square plus one square, which is one plus two AB will be two into X into one, which is two X divided by four. This is equal to, this can be expanded using a minus B whole square, which is a square 
plus b square minus 2ab so it is minus 2x upon 4 plus x square upon 4 okay now on the right side let us take 4 as the common denominator and let's try to add the fractions so we get x square i would like to write 2x first and then i will write 1 here okay for convenience this is equal to now we have 4 here okay 4 is common denominator add the numerators x square plus 1 minus 2x plus x square as you can see from both the sides we can cancel out this 4 okay this 4 will be gone so we just have x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to x square plus 1 minus 2x plus x square and as you can see again from both the sides we can cancel out one of the x square terms right yes now we will bring all the terms to one side so okay let's bring all the terms to one side maybe we will bring the terms from left side to right side that will be good because we have the positive x square term on the right side so let's bring this 2x to the right side and let's bring this 1 to the right side so that we have x square on the right side and we have minus 2x and we have plus 1 and this minus 2x will come to the right side and this plus 1 will become minus 1 when it comes to the right side is equal to 0 and here we can cancel this plus 1 and minus 1 so finally we have x squared minus 2x minus 2x will become minus 4x equal to 0 okay so here uh, let me scroll this down okay so we can take x common out here so that we have x into x minus 4 equal to 0 so this gives us two results here one is x equal to 0 and another one is x minus 4 equal to 0 but we cannot take this result right because x is the side length of the square and it cannot be 0 which means we can only take this result so if x minus 4 equal to 0 then x will be equal to 4 which means this is the side length of the square right so this is the side length of the square so if this, this is the side length then definitely the area of the square we know that area of the square is nothing but side square right side square which is nothing but x squared so x square will be 4 square which will give us 16 as the answer so 16 square units this will be the side length of the square okay so that's it i hope all of you liked the solution and enjoyed the solution for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos i will see you in the next video